Hey everyone. Okay. So hopefully this is going well. If you could just let me know that you can hear me and that there's no insanely crazy, um, feedback that would be super wonderful. Let's see. Hopefully you checked in on StreamYard so that I can see whether or not, um, there are any issues. I'm not seeing anything just yet. So anyway, welcome. And for those of you watching the replay, thank you. I so appreciate it when you, when you come back to, um, to watch. I know that this is kind of a new time in the day. And hey, Kay, I can hear and see clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Is that how it goes? I don't know. I'm not good at that. <laughs> it looks and sounds great. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Really? I mean, come on. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Christy. Hey, Jan. Trisha, Debbie. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, all the East Coast peeps. So that's a, it's a different time. It's a 3.30 for me here. And um, that's 6.30 for you all. And I don't know if that allows any of our international people to join in or not. But I thought for this particular presentation on Wednesdays, I'm going to see how it goes. Um, at 3.30 and we're just going to do like a half an hour together so that people who are watching the replay um, can come back and easily enjoy it and um, yeah and so Amber's here and and the whole the whole jewel team all the wisdom warriors yes weaving warriors I have decided that I really really like that name and so um, and so I think that's what we should call ourselves the weaving warriors, right? We can, we can use the word wisdom in there too, but listen, I'm super stoked. I've been talking about this situation that I'm going to talk about <laughs> for way too long. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it going. Um, and so that is for those of you who have been, who have been following me forever, you may remember way back in the day in the Aline's creative living, uh, days where my very first company, that I started back in 1997 uh, was called Inspirations by Juliana. And what was born from that was beads in a bag. And so I used to go on to Aline's to the television show and I would make one of my uh, designs. So this is what I'm referring to right here. Isn't that lovely? In fact, I think I bring it under this camera. It might even be better. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> okay. So I used to make all of these and it was so funny. I, we didn't, I didn't go onto the, the interwebs. Okay. Not back then. I was actually, um, I had all the catalogs from like a lot of people in New York and different people even, um, oh gosh, I used to buy from shipwreck back in the day and I would literally put together the kits and then I would sell the bond leans and, they would sell out. I mean, I sold a bazillion of them. <laughs> it was, it was pretty fun. So anyway, I've been talking about it and talking about it. And so I actually believe it or not, and this is going to blow some of your socks off. Okay. This is a kit. So if you can see these components right here, this is the kit that I've put, um, that not only have I put together and made available. So these are, I want to, I want to make it really clear. These are combinations that I have curated. Okay. This isn't like a predetermined, um, collection that people buy from distributor, wholesaler, whatever. This is a Jules curated, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, put it in a bag. Okay. So it's got my heart and soul into it. My personal touch, this particular, um, earth kit comes with six different, uh, not different, but six feathers. Aren't they gorgeous? So there's six. Let me get, I got to figure out this camera. Hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. So this was a, an assortment of beads in a bag that I did back in the day. <laughs> I was trying to remember what I called it back then. There was a bunch of different names that I had. I have to go look at the Aline's Creative Living Magazine to, um, to, to find those names, but all the components that you need, um, pretty much to make the kit, you have all the decorative beads, you have your seed beads, your ados, I'm including the button. I chose the, um, the earth tone core, uh, corrugated 
uh, hemp that I'm carrying now. So I'm warping with that. And then of course you're, you're going to need some wildfire. I chose to do the black. There we go. All right. And that's back in the shop, by the way, obviously you're going to need your jewel loom and your jewel loom needles. And if you don't have the instructions, now you'll be able to watch the replay of all of these videos and you'll be able to um, follow along with the project. There are only 15 kits available. So they're on the jewelloom.com site right now. But the instructions, if you have the book, it's the ocean's desire. So those are the instructions that you're going to be following if you want to follow them from the book. Okay. Um, this particular one warps with wildfire though, and I've decided to warp with the hemp because I feel like the earth tones and the hemp are going to be super cool together. And, um, and then this is using the wood button and that's the jewel loom book. If you don't have it, um, instead of sewing on a clasp. So, you know, you'll have, you'll have the bits and pieces um, to, um, to go either way, right? So you'll, you'll either be able to follow the exact instructions, um, in the book, or again, come back to this video and uh, do that. So the intention is like today I'm going to warp and I'll probably get started on adding the eight eight I want to keep these to 30 minutes. People are busy and I kind of feel like things get lost in the hour and let's face it, <laughs> mama can talk. So <laughs> sometimes a little too much. So, um, so Wednesdays at 3.30 from now on, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll be focused on these inspirations by Juliana Beads in a Bag Kit. We'll be working with the Earth Kit all month or until they sell out. And then I'll make another collection and we'll just see how it goes. And um, yeah, so they're $19.99 plus shipping and handling. There are only 15 available. Um, the original configuration used to accommodate like a six to maybe seven inch wrist but I'm going to add the extras. Okay. So I'm going to go and put the little extra pinches of decorative beads, 11 O's and eight O's that you'll need to make like an eight, um, for an eight inch wrist. Keeping in mind, you could actually, it'll probably even go up to a nine. Um, because just depending on where you put the button and all of that. So yeah. Yay. I'm so super stoked. I loved these kits back in the day. I've had a lot of people ask the ask me for them, so I hope that you love them as much as well. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to get rid of this version of me. <laughs> and so remove, okay, awesome. Okay, now it says that my audio was also removed, but hopefully that was just for that screen. I'm going to get rid of this banner. So I'm going to hide that so that you'll have the whole screen here. And then, yeah, so just, oh, let me go back to comments. So in case there is something I need to know. All right. So the, again, this is an interesting, let's see what I can do with the camera angle here. Maybe if I move this in a little closer to me, ah, <laughs> come to mama. Okay, cool. So we have the jewel loom and we can still hear you. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so thank you. Thank you, StreamYard. And thank you, audio camera gods. Okay. So we have the jewel loom. I've already put the rod in. That's something that we've all done together before. And what I'm going to do is turn that over. Okay. And this button right here is closest to my body. All right. And I've already pre-cut. It's three and a half yards. You probably could get away with three. I kind of did it loosely, but about three to three and a half yards of hemp is what you're going to need um, for this project. So I'm going to just do like a little loop-de-loop -loop knot here as to not waste because this is really strong. So I don't have to worry about, you know, having a big long tail. And then remember, we want to make sure that that knot is facing towards us. So I'm just going to give it a nice tug and then I'll do another one. Um, let's see, Whoops. just follow that knot how it wanted to go. 
Awesome. So this is not like our leather. Remember with our leather, we have to be really super gentle. Um, but with the hemp, you know, don't get too mad at it. <laughs> but um, you can give it a little extra tug. Now this particular bracelet is six eight o's across. All right. So we're going to need seven warps because remember, it's always one more warp to the total number of beads across. So six eight o's across, that means we need seven warps. So I'm going to take the loom and I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to let that hemp lay in one of the grooves. Now remember, this is a 1.0 millimeter hemp. So it's, it's thick. It's obviously a lot thicker than the wildfire. And so it's just going to kind of lay on the groove. And then I'm going to bring that towards me. All right. And for those of you just joining, yes, the rod is in the loom. It stays in the loom until we are done with our warps. It's what helps us to get a really good, uh, good tight warp. Now, I could feel that my hand just slipped. So I'm going to come back up and grab this. Let it lay down into that bottom groove. Awesome. Loving how this is working out. And then I'm going to flip it over. Okay. And I'm going to come around the back side of the button. And then I'm going to bring that up. And I am skipping one groove for the Eidos. All right. So let's just bring that up to the camera here. Awesome. And perfect. Yay. Okay. And then we're going to come back up. And again, I'm just going to let that lay down into the groove. Flip it around. Go around that back button. And it's pretty tight, you know, because this one millimeter um, hemp is nice and thick. So I've got three. And now I'm going to come back up. Kind of get to the point where I can just eyeball it. <laughs> I've been doing it so long that you just kind of know, you just kind of know you're in the right spot. Okay. So we've got, what do we got there? We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this corrugated earth is just delicious. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. How much fun. Isn't that beautiful? Super cool. Okay. So I'm going to flip it over one more time here and let that lay down. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. But remember, we're going to have six beads going across. So we need to um, we need to have seven warps. I had to find my words. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So is this going to be my seventh one? Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. So that's my seventh one. So just going to bring it down to the bottom here. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, this would just make a really super cool bracelet in general, right? And then go back with the wefts and the, um, it's kind of like the rainbow. Remember the rainbow? Um, we also have that. I love, this is what I love about the hemp. You probably, you might have missed it, but I literally, it just tucked itself underneath the button. So it's so cool because it really helps when you're, you know, doing that last round, um, not to have so much. So let's see, I have so much left over here. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it um, about right there. And we'll put that extra piece over. And then actually, let's see, what am I going to do here? I am going to turn this way. And I want to make sure I'm in the camera. So let's come over here. And then we're just going to come back in this direction. And basically all I'm doing... Um, you guys, as I just, I'm trying to get it knotted, right? I just want to get it secured. So however, whatever it takes to get to that place, then I'm going to come back under. Yeah. So just knotting it in place. Okay. Cool beans. Awesome. All right. That feels good. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to flip it over. All right. And, um, what I, what I do is I take my pointer that's my pointer. <laughs> I lay that over the top of the warps. And then I usually use my chest or my tummy, whatever's closest. 
I take the rod and very carefully, I just remove it. And then we have a beautiful, beautiful warp. Look at that. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Perfect. Right? Sounds a little bit different than our wildfire, but you can tell that it's really nice. I love it. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is I've already threaded um, some of the wildfire onto my jewel loom needle. And I'm going to start building my base. And let me think here. What do I want to do? Hi, Facebook user. I can't see who you are because you didn't you didn't join under StreamYard. But maybe somebody who can see who that is can tell me who it is. So I can greet you by name. Um, what do I want to do? Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to do the under over. Because if I tie onto the hemp, it's going to be tied. And if I have to move, um, that's going to be a little challenging. So I'm just going to do the under over, under over, under over thing. <laughs> so technical, so technical. And I'm going to leave a tail and I'm going to go back down and then under. So I'm just kind of doing like a quick, um, what we would do when we're making our salvage. And I'm just going to, oh, I love, I love how the wildfire is connecting with the hemp. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> the things that make a weaver happy. Okay, so we'll just do that. Alrighty, so now the action is going to start. So I'm going to build my base. And I have a little secret. I don't, I don't know that I've ever... Have I done a base with hemp before? Oh my gosh, how funny. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. Oh, you, can you see me scooping? I did this last time. Let's get better, let's get better. There we go, okay. So what do I have? I have four, um, five, and six. Okay. So I just scoop. I'm a little bit, I'm a scooper. Some people like do it differently. It doesn't matter. You just want to get them on there. So I'm going to let those fall all the way down. And then let's get that out of the way. And we're going to pop these up. This is going to be very interesting. Oh yeah. A little tight, little tight, kind of like our project, um, kind of like the February project when we did our two holes with the, um, with the thicker hemp. Ooh, but I'm digging this because you know what? I think the first row is not going to be so much of a pain in the butt. Look at that. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up to the camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming up, I'm coming up, and I'm coming down so that it's in focus. Ah, <gasps> super cool. Hey, Joan. Ah, <gasps> look at. Oh, I'm digging this, you guys. I'm totally digging this. I'm so happy I made this choice. Okay. <laughs> it's the little things that excite me. All right, I'm just checking it out. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure it's all perfect. Look at that. Oh, come on. Have we ever not? had a struggle with the first row and look at that. That was awesome. That, <laughs> that was really cool. Hey, listen, if you're just joining, I want to also, um, um, just mention that. Do you see how I'm kind of like, I started right below that, that, um, hole for the rod. That's my indicator for my size bracelet. So I'm working on like a six inch, and by time I'm done, that's going to be a nice centered piece because remember, we need all of this extra warp, all right? We need all of that for um, tying. But looky there. Ah, oh, I'm so pleased. Okay, so now I'm going to come back under the warps and I'm going to scoop up six more eight three, four, five, six. Is that right? Yep. Okay. And I'm going to let them fall. Oh, and we're on, hooked up on something. Okay. And let's bring those 
in between here. It is helping that I have a nice thumbnail just to kind of get them in place. And then you just want to make sure that you're on top of the warp. And let's see. Okay, awesome. And we're going to pull through. Yeah, this this feeling, again, if you were in the February subscription um, box, the Creative Soul box, this has this has that cool vibe. It has that cool feeling of very, um, very strong. And that's what this kit is about. It's about the earth. It's about nature, all of God's blessings, right? And right now, it's like the we need to take our shoes off and just touch the ground. Um, I can remember growing up out at the ranch and my, you know, my little brother and I, and even before he came along, I mean, my grandma would let us go sit in the mud <laughs> and, you know, play in the mud. And how often as adults, even as children, but how often as adults do we um, actually get to do that? Right. And, and it's so good for the soul to be connected um, to earth and to nature. And so this is that project. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna continue here. I'll get this next row and then I'll bring it up to the camera for you, okay? Yeah, I probably could have used my Ot light on this project. It's a little dark for me anyway. Okay, awesome. Wait, let me just make sure, because I can hardly see. I got a little bit of a glare. I don't want to drop a bead. This is really going to be nice. Okay. And do you see how I just go back and I, I make sure that it's nice and even? All right, let's bring it up to the camera. I think I got to tilt it so that it doesn't get blurry. See that? Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Hey, Lisa. Ah, oh, so, so beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to continue. So yeah, so if you get your kit, then um, on Wednesdays, we can, we can weave together and um, this will be the first step. And then next week, I'll come back and we'll start doing the loops. Those are always so much fun. That takes a little bit of time, you know. I, I think in the book I said that this whole project was about, what was it, four to five hours? It just depends on, you know, how much time you can, you really have to sit and be dedicated. I think that was like on the, the high side. Um, so many of you are, are advanced and have been, have been doing the looming. But really, this is one of those projects where it's so nice to just take your time. Oop, almost didn't go through the top. <laughs> yeah, I've got a glare going on from somewhere, and so it's so funny. All right, so pulling that nice and tight. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy. You know what I'm talking about, because when you're building your base, if it's not going well, um, it's not going well. <laughs> and this is, this is really working out nice. Okay. So three, four, five, and six. All right. And then I'm just always making sure to that the pulling nice and tight so that I don't have any loose, um, don't, I gotta be careful here. I don't want my needle to go through the hemp in case I have to adjust. Whoops. And I don't wanna stab myself. <laughs> okay, yeah, look at how nice. Um, this Lisa is black wildfire. Black wildfire. And that just, is, and the hemp is the corrugated earth. But remember how I want to try. Okay, there you go. Can you see these guys? These are the sides. So remember, we always want to make sure that um, 
that they're not loose and that they're not too tight as to distort, you know, the warps here, the wefts, I mean, the wefts. Yep, got it? Wow, so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna pick up six more. And let me just make sure, cause I kind of tend to be all over the place when I'm beating. I wanna make sure I'm still in the camera. So three, four, five, six. And it, and so this is how I hold my needle in case you're wondering. So let's see, it's sitting in between. It's sitting, where's my hand, where's the thing? It's sitting in between this ring finger and middle finger. And then I am holding it and then I'm scooching up with my thumb. So see it kind of peeking out right there. So that's how I hold my needle in case you're like, how does she hold her needle? <laughs> that's how I hold it. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Lisa, how fun. I really, it uh, really helps to love your warp and weft. Yes, yes, it does. It does. Okay, and then we're just gonna spread this out. And yeah, so just remember when you're building your base, um, if we were just using regular beading thread, we would go super fast. But, um, but when you're dealing with the hemp, it's definitely thicker, and so it's not gonna be lightning speed. Okay, and we will pull that through. Nice, and you see how I just gave it a little tug right there. Wow, I'm just gonna, I need to peek up and look at it from this. I wanna make sure I'm not crooked. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> awesome. Uh-oh, why is there a teary face? Somebody, there's a teary face. Do we know why there's a sad face? Did something happen? So while I continue to do this, so here's my thought on the Q and A's. Um, my team and I were talking and we were thinking that that third Thursday of every month could be that live Zoom where that, um, where if you're in the Jewel Loom Bead Weaving Community Group, you can bring your questions and projects to the live Zoom for me to help you with. Um, this way, you kind of have a date and you know that on the third Thursday, if you need help or you have a question, you can come to that Zoom. And by all means, that doesn't mean it's the only time you can ask a question. It just means that if you want me, if you want to come on to the Zoom so that I can see what you need. Like when Sue did it, I mean, my gosh, we, we, what did we do, Sue? I think we went through two of your projects. And then Amber, I think you had at least two, if not three, I can't remember, it doesn't matter, but it was so awesome. And it made me feel really good because I can't be with you physically every day. <laughs> and, um, oh wait, Suzanne. Okay, let me finish my thought on that and then Suzanne, I'll come right back to you. Um, so yeah, so so the third Thursday of every month, we will have the Zoom where you'll get an invitation if you want to come on and be seen. Um, and if you have your project or questions that you need help with, that's when you will do it. So for this month, it will be May 20th. Whoops. Yeah, I definitely am going to get my ot light on this because um, I need a little bit more light. Okay, so we're getting close to um, a half an hour. And like I said, I really want to keep this to about 30 minutes so that people can um, watch this, understand what we're doing, and then um, and then go on. So, yeah, Suzanne, do you mean your May kit? 
USPS says it's delivered late. Okay, let me look at that from my end and see what I can find. Um, see what, you know, what it says from my end. I'm sure it will get there. It just, um, what is the name of all the beads you're using? It is um, the kit, Phyllis. Amber, maybe you can throw that in there. They are, um, I'm a, typically a Toho girl, so I like my Toho seed beads. Um, there, there are some, uh, Check seed beads also. I think the Czech's been doing a great job with their seed beads and um, a plethora of decorative beads. I think there's there's a couple different gemstone chips in this kit. Yeah, so this base is going to take a little, well, I'm talking to, but you know, it's going to take a little. It's just taking its time. Yeah, it'll get there. Hi, Emily. Will you set up the third Thursday as an event? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, because you're going to need the Zoom invite and absolutely. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to do one more row. And um, yeah, so listen, I'm just going to, um, I'll, I'll let you know because we have better better knowledge now. So my mom's been in the hospital for two weeks and, um, it was just really kind of crazy and, and stressful and, you know, just one of those situations <laughs> where, uh, you know, you just don't know, but it's looking really, really good. So really good. And we're so hopeful and she is just, man, she's got, I knew she was a tough cookie, but but she is a strong warrior herself. And um, so, yeah, so she's still in the hospital. And so, you know, just trying to juggle everything. But, um, but it's looking a lot better. Yeah. So prayers, good prayers. Thank you guys. Yes. Yes. Lots of yummies. Thanks, Phyllis. Yeah, it's going to be super cool. All right, so let's just go over it again really quick. Um, we've got the decorative beads, the seed beads, both in 11 O's and 8 O's. You're going to have the wood button, so that's going to come in the kit. You don't need to buy a button. Um, you'll need your hemp, color of choice. You know, I, I am totally digging the earthy um, uh, hemp. You could probably use the black, too, with this kit. I don't see a problem with that. I'm doing the black wildfire. Um, obviously using the original jewel loom. I, if you've got the small goddess, you could totally use the small goddess as well. Um, the jewel loom needles, you know, all day, every day. And um, the jewel loom inspiration book has the Ocean's Desire project instruction step by step. So if you have the book, um, you can look at the visual step outs. Um, but you'll have these videos, so they'll be in the Jewel Loom group, the Jewel Loom page, and we're actually streaming to YouTube right now as well. And um, here's the finished oceans desire. Now, this is the the finishing technique is with um, with this really nice class. But I probably have said this before. I think I paid well. I paid retail. <laughs> For this guy, believe it or not, I had to run to a local bead shop a couple years ago when I did the book and buy this darn thing at retail. And I was like, holy guacamole. I mean, it was close to 40 bucks. Uh, insane. But, um, but yeah, so yeah. But I think this is going to be a little easier. I love the idea of warping with cord and then adding, where's my camera? And then adding a button. It's just, it's, it's easier, but this is, Absolutely gorgeous if you want to spend $40 on a glass. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So, okay, you guys, um, thank you for spending this evening with me wherever you are. And I appreciate you so very, very much. 
And um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be back next Wednesday at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. Every Wednesday we'll do something like this together. Um, we'll stay on the Earth Tone Kit and um, complete that. And then we'll, I'm, what is next month? June? So yeah. So I might actually um, curate the Ocean's Desire. Do, do a blue-green palette. I think that's really fun. Links are not working. Well, if you just go straight to jewelloom.com, yeah, that should work. Yeah, so those are coming up with the Opaque Sapphire Fire Polish. Okay, I'm going to come back on just to say goodbye. So here I am. <laughs> and I just, tacos. Why did I just get something about tacos? Oh, it's Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Actually, I think my girlfriends and I are going for sushi tonight. <laughs> and, and a glass of Chardonnay. So, all right, y'all. I, um, if you go to, it's under kids. Yeah. It's also on the front page. It should hit you smack in the face on, um, and, um, so yeah. Anyway, okay, God bless you, Star, and uh, God bless everybody, and we'll see you again, okay? I'm going to say goodbye. Okay. Removing, and yep, God, let's see. Okay, in broadcast. <laughs> All right, you guys, bye-bye.